Okay, here's the walkthrough video for 18002 Winthorne. This house was built in 2000. Um, I don't see any mention of the roof being replaced. It looks like it's original. Um, definitely gonna need a new roof. Um, doesn't look bad, but generally insurance companies are on you once you get to the 20 year mark. Also, you know, the next door neighbor, see the brand new roof. So you know that these homes, they're all built usually by the same builder, same time frame, and uh, they all start to need roofs around the same time. This one next, next to it still has its original roof. So a house of this size, probably 20 grand for a roof. So just something to keep in mind. This is a David Weekly home. Uh, David Weekly is probably the best builder around this area. Um, kind of like the Cadillac of homes. When you sell your home, it's good to you know mention it's a David Weekly because that's just it just means quality. They have extra reinforcements and stuff in the in the walls, and, and you pay more money for our David Weekly, but you do get a really quality house. So that's what this one is. Okay, so this house is four bedrooms, three full baths. One story, um, square footage is 2980 heated square feet. And uh, we'll walk around together and take a look at it. So when you walk in, you have your, your foyer here. It looks like kind of a marble floor. Has uh, the crown molding everywhere. You know, they always have all the finishing touches on David Weekly Homes. You have to your... To your right, a, well, I guess a formal living room. They obviously have as a ping pong table, but you can do a formal living room. You can uh, enclose this with French doors, make it an office. They do have the plantation shutters on the windows. So it's a nice upgrade and a nice touch. All has the crown molding to it. Across the uh, foyer, there's the formal dining area. And I guess there is a, an office or a, a guest bedroom in the front with its own bathroom. So we'll check that out and we'll work towards the back of the house. Now, sounds, it's pretty quiet in here. Remember there is that road outside. So just to kind of point that out if we hear any road noise. Turn on some lights here. So it has three full baths. Yeah, looks a little better that way. It does have a basic uh, grade vanity. I don't, I don't know if they're living here. You can see it has a cockroach there. This might, be, I think this might be a uh, a snowbird. I could be wrong, but I don't think they they live here. So it has a little bit of a cathedral ceiling to it. The carpets are Berber, so it's a high traffic carpet. A lot of people don't like carpet. Some like carpet, but some people just rip it out and do something different. So this room, now that I'm looking at it, does not have a closet. So I really wouldn't even call this a bedroom. I mean, you could obviously put a bed here. Um, but to me, this is uh, a bonus room, den but there is no closet, so just to point that out. And I think they did list it as a bedroom. We'll see if there's three other rooms. Maybe maybe there's three plus that. So your living room area, these are real hardwood floors. Ceilings are pretty pretty tall. Turn some lights on here for you. The last house they had all the lights on. It was all nice and lit up for us. And every switch of them. See, see the, the Florida, New York sign. I think these are uh, people from New York, and this is their uh, their winter home. So that's my guess. And I've struck out finding out where the light switches are to this room, to this kitchen. Obviously, this breaks into the... There we go. It 
So it doesn't have the pendant lights coming down off of, off of here. You can change those to, to be pendants, but they're just lights in the ceiling. This is a Corian countertop. Some people like granite or quartz. These are a little more forgiving as far as burns and stuff on the with hot hot items and less maintenance to you know, but so you have your nook area off of the kitchen. No flood insurance, despite the fact that you do have some water right there. I'll walk back there in a second. And this is the road right here. Um, I'd like to see a car go by just to see. These are probably all uh, double pane. Oh, here's a car. Not sure if you heard it. I can hear it a little bit, but I have to listen for it, like looking at it. And the bedrooms are all on that side of the house, so it's even that much further away from the road. Just try to give you some other areas of this uh, pretty large living space, some other views. You do have three panels of glass, really four, so it does create for quite a, a lot of uh, natural light. And, and a view to the back. And of course, they have their home stereo system. Now, this this uh, cabinetry, if you wanted, I mean, it's all built in. It's the way they were doing it back in the '90s and early 2000s. This could be removed. You could bring it all the way back to to the wall, like for example, the TV. Now today, nowadays, people are getting 65, 75, 85 inch TVs. This might be a little, uh, that's probably a, a 55 maybe or 50. Uh, first off, you could put a, a mount right here and then put the TV over it. Or, you know, there's creative ways where you can take the whole thing out, which would make the room feel a little bit bigger. Because there's nothing structural. It's just kind of built-ins, basically. Or you can leave it that way and have all these little... Uh, areas to put things and keep it all nice and clean and you can just shut it and not see all the CDs and uh, and devices so Let's see if this lights up or not ah so it's built-in lights and so as well so it's it's a nice one it's a nice one I must say with lights and spots to st store things all right, let's continue the tour. So this bathroom goes all the way through to the other side where um, the uh, secondary rooms are. But let's do the master and then we'll hit that area after. So this has a really good size master. I remember this. You have this spare little sitting area, similar to the last house where you had that sitting area off to the to the side so it does have that and then this is holding a king size maybe even a california king comfortably three windows across the room to view the backyard. Once again, it has crown molding everywhere. All right, so bathroom has uh, his and her vanities. They put some wallpaper up. Crown molding continues in the bathroom. Got the garden tub. And then you also have the shower. This is a linen closet. You have your water tower. And then this is the closet. If I can find the light.
Guy Tonga walks in. That light's burnt out. Tile floors. So big tile floors here in the bathroom. Different than the uh, other part of the bathroom. And then you do have a window here, which they have obviously shut. And then they have a frost as well. So it's very secure from privacy. I personally keep get rid of the curtains and just have the frost, let more light in, but to each their own. All right, so like I said, I'll go outside in a minute, but we'll check out the other rooms first. So it's another little uh, built-in, like uh, putting stuff in. Definitely storage friendly house. This is interesting, this uh, little dangly light. But I can't seem to turn it on. Alright. Alright, so I'm going to head this way, but let me walk around to give you the tour. We'll walk around to the other side of the house. Oh yeah, in the kitchen, we do have, I kind of breeze through the kitchen a little bit, but we do have a, uh, a pantry. Does have a gas uh, stove. Dishwasher, everything's stainless. Does have a backsplash to it. Ooh, no lights underneath. Does have lights up above. Lots of cleaners. Does have the disposal. It's white. Lots of plug outlets. Okay, so let's go to this side of the house. Try to get some lights on here. Okay. So here's, obviously the master was down this way. Here's the other side of the, the, the bathroom. So there's a basic countertop here, tall ceilings, like I said, the crown molding. So this particular, all right, so this is, the toilet is here, so this could be shut. So someone can come here um, from the living room and use this bathroom and shut this door. And then this is more for personal, um, the people who live here can, can basically put their Toiletries and stuff here and keep it private. You know, if if this door were to be shut. Does have a linen closet. Alright, so then down here we have two bedrooms. It's not turning on, but I think you can see it okay. And we're definitely living here. We have every closet and every shelf is full and, and, and being used. And then we have this room here. It has this extra paneling here. Sometimes you see this in model homes. You know, a lot of times you don't get this. Um, you know, they might have put it in themselves, but usually it's not a finish that the builder gives you. Of 
rid of our carpet. So, this room might be 10 by 11. I know it's hard to tell dimensions in, in the video. Looks like it has a maybe a um, a full size bed. This one might be the same size, maybe a little bigger. So you do have this little um, office area. It's kind of a built-in. And then your laundry room is right here. It does have a sink. So no crown molding in here. It has a full size side by side with some cabinets. And then your uh, garage. It's a three car. Modern garage doors has the hurricane bars, you know, for extra security. It gives you discounts on insurance and a little bit safer. They have a little heat lamp for outside. They threw it here in the in the garage. An old fridge. So there's your AC system. It says replaced in uh, new evaporator coil in 07. So. I don't know how old the system is. The evaporator coil is the most expensive part of the AC. Generally, will give you a lot more life if you replace that. But my guess is it's an older AC. And then you have a hot water heater. It looks like it's pretty good. This uh, fixture right here shows me that it's a it's gas. And of course, we saw the gas stove. So definitely, gas is running into the house, which is very energy efficient. Some people love it. So once again, here's the, the fixture again. So it has the gas furnace. Gas furnaces do have a longer life than uh, electric. So and you can see it has a pull down uh, for uh, storage in the attic. It has two garage door openers. So yeah, I'm, I'm a big fan of three car garages. Gives you the uh, extra space inside the garage because we don't have basements. And of course, it gives you the, the wider driveway as well. All right, so I think that concludes the house. Let's go to the backyard now. We do have this door. It's probably a coat closet with coats. See if we can get to the backyard. It's sliding doors to open both sides. You know, I see the uh, ashtray here, but I, I honestly did not smell uh, smoke in the house. So they may just smoke outside. Some people do that just to keep the house from having a smoky smell. So this structure right here, um, obviously under the roof line, um, some people screen this in. You can put screens on, on all these spaces so that it's all bug free. Um, or you can add a bird cage on, you know, like a cage and goes further out. And this would be under your roof area, but you can go out. You can put a pool back here, there's enough space. You could uh, put pavers or some type of a concrete slab and make this just ex extended living. So you have options, and it can all be off of this uh, structure here where you're uh, protected from the rain, but they've never done anything. They just left it uh, the way it came, you know. Basically, this is where the house roof line ex uh, ends is at this structure. It does have a pool bath. Like, if you were to put a pool, you basically use this door, and uh, you would go through the hallway and then to the bathroom right there that we walked through, so... It does have a very accessible bathroom if you did add a pool. 
So this is our dry season right now. We did have a lot of rain last week because of a tropical storm, so a lot of rain. Um, so that might be a little higher than it would be normally, or that might be what it looks like in the summer. Cause, but still, it's not a flood zone, and you can see it's still pretty far away from the house. This is a pretty good sized lot. I'm just gonna walk to the back corner so we can see the house from a distance. Looks like they've been landscaping and taking care of the, the property all the way to the back here. This uh, concrete structure here, let me make sure I, I, I'm pretty sure that if the water gets too high, it'll go into this, this thing and, and therefore you're not in a flood zone. Like that, that's a safeguard if the water gets that high. But I'm not positive. I th I'm pretty sure, though, that that's, that's what that's for. It seems like it's standing up a little high, like the water's really low. And if the water gets that high, it would really be high elevation. But I think that's, that's what that's for. Definitely the roof's original. You can kind of see where the, the heat vent is. You can see a little bit of the um, discoloration of the roof. So, I mean, that's, that's after years and years of wear. And at 20 years old, a roof is either going to be looking really new or looking old. You can see the next door neighbors also kind of the discoloration in their roof. Trying to zoom out all the way. So being on the end unit, you do have a little bit wider lot than uh, most people, but you're on the road. So the pluses and the minuses, I suppose, but it is a pretty good size lot. This house was painted this year in 2020, I read, so does the paint looks great. Um, has these little clips on the windows so that you can uh, put shutters uh, in case of a hurricane. So I didn't notice the panels in the garage, but it probably has them. They're probably all fitted. And uh, you know, if a hurricane should come through, you have those panels in place to secure the house and it'll be safe. your master of course and then your property line you can usually tell by the, the grass the way it's cut it's basically right here so no real trees are hanging over the house just in the front there's a little bit but by and large that the house is pretty far away from the tree lines So your neighbors, everyone's on a conservation in the back. And obviously they'll never build back here, so you'll always have that privacy. All right, well, this concludes my video for a windthorn. You see it does have sprinklers in the ground. So it does have an irrigation system. If there's anything I missed, any questions you have, just let me know.